While the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, doesn't mean the end for the unfortunate souls who acquire it, it's not exactly a basket of sunshine and rainbows either. So how can you avoid it? Well, it all comes down to a little common sense and some good old-fashioned manners. First off, cleanliness is next to godliness when it comes to escaping the clutches of COVID-19. Or, you know, all the time. Wash your hands. A lot. Any time of the year, there's a lot of germs out there. Warm water, soap for about 20 seconds or so, sing happy birthday to yourself a couple of times, or recite the opening narrative to Star Trek. Second, no human contact. The website for Northwell Health also suggests you avoid touching. No handshakes, avoid sick people, and practice that cough in your elbow like Dracula thing. It's just that if a vampire had to cough, he would do it like this. <coughs> uh-huh, right. And ruin their cloaks? Do you have any idea how expensive wool is in Transylvania? A good hand sanitizer is your new best friend for the time being. Use it thoroughly and use it often. It really is a matter of better living through chemistry. For that matter, besides keeping your hands clean and keeping them away from your face, it will be helpful to clean and sanitize surfaces you come in contact with on a regular basis. Give your phone, your keyboard, and your countertop a good wipe now and then. When pandemics create panic, a bad situation gets worse. On that note, rethink stocking up on face masks. For one thing, it's creating a shortage for medical professionals who actually need them. They won't help you unless you, as would a medical professional, are caring for someone who's sick. They help keep you from spreading the airborne droplets that bear the virus to others, but that's only if you're already ill. It's probably pretty important to remember that you should avoid physical contact with someone who's sick. And yes, that can be difficult, especially if you're living with that individual. But just because you should distance yourself from them, that doesn't mean you should straight up ignore them. Ours is an age of wonders. You can call, hit them up on a video chat, text them, email them, reach out in a myriad of ways that our technology allows. Another thing that's super important in times like this? Reminding people that they're not alone. But face mask or no face mask, and whether you feel like Skyping your mom or you don't, if you're truly sick, stay home. If the symptoms aren't severe, don't clog up hospital emergency rooms. They have enough on their hands at the best of times, let alone now. It's okay to cancel social engagements and avoid larger gatherings. Schools are closing temporarily, some switching to online teaching and for good reason. An informed public working together is a virus's worst nightmare. We cannot stress this enough. Avoid public transportation unless absolutely necessary. If you have another way to get from point A to point B, do it. You've been meaning to get more steps in anyway, right? As for public venues, restaurants, theaters, performances of various kinds, support independent film and local artists, but not right now. Honestly, it's a good time to catch up on your reading. If you have to go out, avoid doorknobs, even if that means getting creative. Open doors with your shoulders if you can. You might look awkward, but awkward is a small price to pay for staying healthy. Like we said earlier, common sense plays a big part in staying safe and healthy. Don't stockpile household goods, but err on the side of caution. Keep the handshaking to a minimum. I'm sorry, handshakes are the greatest avenues of germ transmission. I generally prefer simple nods. But try not to be weird about it. Wash your hands. We're all in this together. But for now, keep a safe distance from others when possible. Stay calm. This too, as they say, shall pass.